Hey guys, it's me again. Um, right here in front of me is a different web browser you see. And it's called Rockmelt. And I'm going to show you some details about this browser. As you see, it's kind of pretty much integrated with Facebook. I'm able to check status updates, check my messages. I can um, access Facebook from where I'm at. And um, to be honest, I can um, accept friend requests using the um, browser. And to show my own Facebook picture, I can um, use the Facebook chat in the browser. And as you see, I got Adblock Plus. I use um, one for Chrome. And you got Quiet Mode, which you can disable like all of these sounds. And you can share certain posts. You can even post on Facebook by going to right here where it says new post that's what that button means I'm going to put and I'm going to put a status update connect to Facebook and this pro and this is commonly what people say the developers of rock milk they don't really call it a browser they consider this a wowzer watch you can get it from rockmelt.com is where I usually got the um, this internet browser from it's also known as a wowzer it's not just a w internet browser it's it's a wilder, that's what the, you can just click right here, download again. And you can enable the, um, you can even hide the chat. The friend edge, that's what it's called. You got one for your apps, which is on the left side. That shows Facebook, you can use YouTube. This is the YouTube app. It's not that functional. It only shows like the featured video. You can even hide the edge. And you can go access your downloads by going to through downloads. And as you see, this browser is based off of Chromium, which is which you use for Google Chrome. It's an also it's open source. And this is the current version right now I'm testing. And Chromium is an open source project which makes web browsers like Google Chrome and this one. I don't know if you can personalize it with personas like Firefox or Chrome, but you can change the top of the color right here. And this is share. You share certain things on Facebook. And I guess this browser is pretty okay. I even show the home button by going to the to the options menu. And I ask where I want to save my um, downloads and I have it open in a certain home page. Or you can do the new tab page but we go right there. It'll bring you to this, but you can go to your app center, your options, your quick guide, or you can invite people to use Rock Melt. A user sent me a message to try Rock Melt. You can adjust your searches from, which is known as the Omnibox. I have my search engine set to Google. So that's a popular web browser. You can even let it offer to save passwords. And this is under the hood. It's kind of like set. Has it? Ha, I mean, it has the same setup as Chrome. And you can always ask where you want to save each file when you download. That's what I normally do. 
and I have Adblock Plus, the one that's compatible for Chrome. That's what I'm using for um, Rock Melt. I downloaded the one for Google Chrome. So. And let's say if you want to. Oh, look, we, you can even do themes. That's a surprising thing. You can import all your bookmarks and usernames and passwords from your other browser. And you can do autofill. Uh, let's see what else they got. And right here under the hood, you're able to clean your cache and your cookies by going to clear browsing data. And this is my personal opinion. I'm, I think it's pretty much okay. Pretty good for using social networking. Um, but I'm still a die-hard Firefox fan, which I'm. I think I'm uh, more comfortable with Firefox. I'm way more satisfied with it. I know many people say, "Oh, switch to Chrome, switch to Chrome," but at least Firefox works without a problem I'm sticking with it and Firefox is pretty good is a pretty good browser because it works just fine to be honest we don't really need all that Facebook integration on the web browser but if you don't, it's like, this browser is pretty good if you want to use it for Facebook integration, to use it with Facebook or any other social networking, but mostly for Facebook or any other. There's certain apps you can use. Which so this is my personal review on the Rock Melt browser, and I'm going to leave a link in, under the description so you can try it out yourself. And tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, comment, and thanks for watching.